Welcome guys to our hub identification class and today we are going to look at this important hub that is a broad spectrum hub and helps to uh, reverse most of the diseases that we have in this world. Now we are looking at Catharanthus roseus, that is periwinkle. We have the rosy periwinkle. Uh, we have the Madagascan periwinkle. Uh, most of the times, we have uh, there are two specific ones that are being grown almost everywhere as an ornamental plant: the rosy and um, and the white colored periwinkle. Now, one of the most important thing that it is effective against is against cancer as a chemo hub. It works, in fact, most of the chemotherapy um, components we find in the drugs also there is driven or extracted from the periwinkle. Uh, it's like a common hub that you have ever seen, as you can see. Uh, many people use it for, uh, for ornamentation. Now, periwinkle tea benefits. It lowers blood sugar and blood pressure levels. It fights cancer because of it, uh, it because of feeding on free, uh, free radicals. It fights malaria. You use, uh, here we are going to use the leaves mostly, leaves and the flowers. Uh, you it, either you can have the tincture version of it. You can have the decoction of the leaves, uh, and make sure that it is very strong enough. And uh, you can also have um, the syrup made out of it. Uh, another thing you can, uh, another form you can use it is in uh, in powder form. You can dry and ground it and put it a teaspoon in a glass of hot water. Let it steep. For about 20 minutes and take it in three times a day for this condition. If you're fighting uh, cancer, like mostly it is known for hot skin, uh, hot skin disease or the cancer of the bone or leukemia. These are the cancers that it mostly help in treating. Uh, children, hot skin disease is known to be a very uh, serious disease, uh, the cancer. Uh, using periwinkle is so important, helpful in removing uh, the spread of that cancer in the bones. That is the cancer of the bones. The number one hub you want to use is periwinkle for the cancer of the bones. And uh, if you are uh, working with someone in a serious uh, stage of cancer, you have to make a tincture. Just giving the leaves may not help you. Giving the leaves may not help you because you'll have to use a lot of the leaves to make sure that uh, uh, to make sure that um, your system uh, gets it in. So you must make a tincture, and to make a tincture is not difficult. What you have to do is to get DMSO, and uh, you have to use it in the ratio of two extract in the ratio of two to one. If you have one kilo of of, uh, of periwinkle, you put two liters of of DMSO, it will be able to extract within 24 hours. And that is so powerful. If you give like 10 drops of that under the tongue, the system is able to pick it very fast and help in the spreading of, uh, stop the, uh, the angiogenesis process and uh, proliferation of the of the cancer cells. It fights malaria. You'll just use the leaves, uh, the fresh leaves, put in warm water and drink. It acts as an antioxidant, improves your memory. Now, I remember something on malaria. This alone uh, will not really bring good results as fast. You need to initiate other procedures like taking good diet. If someone's having malaria, don't take the Carbs, because the carbs will help the Plasmodium falciparum to uh, to continue uh, aggregate aggregate in the in the system. So limit the sugary foods and take the sour foods, the vegetables and the fruits that are not sugary. 
drink a lot of water, exercise, and do hot foot baths, and malaria will be able to go. Um, it treats bleeding gums, so you just chew it in and then pack it in your mouth for about five minutes and able to stop the bleeding. Uh, treats lung congestion and sore throats, you take it as a tea and removes any problem within the lung. Uh, the lung. If you have water in the lungs, you will use this alongside the diuretics like the lemongrass, like the dandelion, like the plantain, like the corn silk, made as tea to remove the, the water in the lungs. It reduces chances of hearing loss. You put uh, the tea of that or the juice, squeeze the juice and add as drops on both the ears. Another thing when you are treating ear loss, uh, you don't work on one ear alone. You work on both ears. Uh, you can use it alongside other, other herbs, other remedies like uh, the black cohosh, the blue cohosh, and the blue valer valerian. You make a tincture out of them and then put us a drop on the ears uh, alongside the tea made from this and you'll be able to repair your ear loss, even if it is deafness. So long as you make the system to have the right requirements, the vitamin A, the vitamin B complex, uh, the vitamin C, and uh, also the, uh, the phytosterols that are needed. Uh, may gotten from the seeds like chia seeds and the flax seeds. It is a vein perceptive found in the tea that works as a calcium chelating mediator. It means it helps to, re, uh, to make the system to absorb calcium and calcium is a lead mineral into the system. Your system needs all the minerals but without calcium they cannot be directed into the cells. So modern researchers on periwinkle states that Despite serious safety concern, periwinkle is used for brain health, increasing blood circulation in the brain, supporting brain metabolism, increasing mental productivity, preventing memory and concentration problems and feebleness, improving memory and thinking ability, and preventing early aging of brain cells. You take the tea of it, you can add uh, rosemary and valerian uh, or things like uh, sage or lemon balm teas to make sure that your brain is, uh, is improved. Periwinkle is also used for treating diarrhea, vaginal discharge, throat ailments, tonsillitis, chest pain, high blood pressure, sore throat, intestinal pain, and swelling or inflammations like arthritis, uh, endocarditis, myocarditis, that is, those are heart problems, toothache, and water retention or edema. It is also used for promoting wound healing, improve the way the immune system defends the body, and for blood purification. What a wonderful herb we have. Uh, you take it as tea, or like for, uh, for, the, uh, for the diarrhea and vaginal discharge, you can use a doce out of it. Make the tea and squeeze it in using a syringe through the bath canal in a slanting board and uh, let the person stay in that position, slanting position for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to be able to wash your reproductive system as well as your colon if you apply it as an enema. Uh, Madagascan periwinkle might alter the immune system, increase the production of urine and lower blood sugar. It has two major uh, chemo, uh, phytochemo, uh, phytochemicals, that is vinblastin and vincristin. And these are the components that are extracted in, uh, and used in treating, uh, treating odd skin disease, leukemia, kaposis, sarcoma, malignant lymphomas, mycosis, fungoids, and neuroblastoma and Wim's tumor. It's very important for you to, uh, to note all these points so that your system is able to, to work well. You need to learn how to make it extremely, uh, extremely uh, concentrated by extracting it using the DMSO, where you put the, the plant matter in a glass container, and then you add a DMSO in the ratio of one to two 
one part of the flower, one part of the powder of the leaf, and uh, two parts of the DMSO. Put in a glass condition for 24 a uh, glass uh, gl glass apparatus, and for 24 hours it will have extracted it well. You can allow it to stay for three days to extract it more, and it will be able to help you uh, very well. If using it as, as a tincture, you just put drops under your tongue, not more than 10 drops at a go. If someone is having a cardiac arrest, you just put about 10 drops on it in the, of it into the uh, into the on, under the tongue and able to resolve that remember our eight laws of health that works alongside these remedial agencies you cannot just cure yourself with these herbs it is an holistic a systemic approach that you need to follow eat well trust in god help others and also be a blessing to all that are around you. May God bless you.